Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. We'll be modeling a quick and easy tennis racket in this video. We'll start off by deleting the default cube with X and delete. With Shift and A, add a plane to the viewport. Tab into edit mode, add some edge loops to the X and Y axes with Ctrl and R. In the Object Properties, under Viewport Display, select Wireframe. With this enabled, the wireframe is displayed now in Object Mode. Add a circle to the viewport with Shift and A. Tab into Edit Mode with the circle selected. Scale it along the X axis with S followed by X. With the plane selected, tab into edit mode. Enable face selection mode with 3 on the keyboard. Now, with control and the left mouse, select the circle from the outliner, and from the mesh menu at the top, select knife project. Inverse the selection with control and I, X and from the delete menu select faces. For now, Hide the circle from the outliner, select the plane and tab into edit mode. Select all faces with A, X, and from the delete menu, choose only faces. Enable edge selection mode with 2 on the keyboard and, with control and a left mouse click, select the outer edges of the plane. X and from the delete menu, select edges. Tab back to object mode, right mouse click and convert the selected object to curve from mesh. In object data properties, increase the bevel depth under geometry to 0.004 or something like that. Right-click and select Shade Auto Smooth. Turn on the visibility of the circle in the outliner. Select and tab into Edit Mode. E to extrude and Z to lock it along the Z-axis. Select all faces with the Option and left-click. Option and E and from the Extrude menu. Choose Extrude Faces along Normals. Select these edges with the Shift option and a left click, and bevel them slightly with Ctrl and B. Also add a Subdivision Surface modifier with the Ctrl and 2 on the keyboard. Right click and shade it smooth as well. Toggle the sidebar with N and change the value of the Z axis to 0 to place the circle at the center of the grid. Shift select these faces and inset them twice with I. With the faces selected, Press E to extrude and resize the value of the Y axis to 0, with S, Y, and 0. Enable Vertex Selection Mode with 1. Select these vertices in X-ray mode, and rotate along the Z axis, minus 45 degrees, with R, Z, and minus 45. Also, select and rotate the other one with R, Z, and 45. Box select these vertices, and from the Edge menu at the top, Select Bridge Edge Loops. Scale it down like so along the X axis, with S followed by X. Add a few edge loops with Ctrl and R to stretch the edges as needed.
Enable face selection mode with 3 on the keyboard, and select the middle face with the left mouse. E to extrude, and S to scale. Extrude again with E. Control B to bevel. Add a few edge loops with Control and R where necessary. Select these faces with Option and the left mouse button, Option followed by E, and from the Extrude menu, choose Extrude Faces along Normals. Reiterate the same. Add a few edge loops with Control and R, and bevel with Control and B. Extrude the selected faces along normals from the Extrude menu. Shift R to repeat. This concludes the video. Many thanks for tuning in.